This is the Minecraft Dragon Ball Super Apollo server. And that guy with the red hair, he's one of the strongest people on this server. And those guys, they're his friends. And they're also incredibly strong. You see, not so long ago, I challenged their strongest fighter to a duel. I eventually got them to agree and I would have 100 days to prepare. Now since there's no day and night cycle on this server, I'm just gonna play for 33 hours. That's how long 100 days is. Also, if you do find yourself, you know, enjoying this video, I invite you to hit the subscribe button, alright? If you stick around, you will have an amazing time. And leave a like while you're down there, I mean, why not? Okay, let's do this thing. So the first thing you'll notice when you log on to the server is just the detail of everything. The texture pack looks so clean and the characters look just so much more detailed than the base Dragon Block C game. And the spawn area, my guy. No one told me I was playing Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. That's what this looks like. Now I got a bit distracted for a while, but this guy with the green tail gave me flashbacks that in 100 days, I need to fight the strongest guy on this server. And these are my stats right now. So as we stand, I'm losing. Now it goes without saying that a good way to get some early training points is to do some of the early missions at least for the server anyway and basically when you start a mission you have to talk to like an npc and then that npc starts you off or whatever and when i saw raditz's dropship in the background i knew just how detailed this was about to be now i powered up to prepare to fight raditz and then bruh that's gohan in the freaking thing now, Raditz went down really easily. In fact, really easily is like an understatement. I didn't expect him to be this weak, but I, I, I bodied the guy. He got knocked out like he was nothing. Every time you complete a mission, you can collect rewards from the NPC that gave you the mission. So in this case, I got some training points and some zenny. Okay, so I figured I probably wouldn't be strong enough to just, you know, waltz into the next mission without training. And I'll be honest, the training in the server is probably one of my favorite parts about it. So every time you defeat an enemy, they get added to, let's call it your training catalog. And basically, you fight them again, and as you fight them, you gain training points. But instead of getting training points per hit, you gain like these training point tokens that you you then consume to give you a certain amount of training points and there's like different star ratings for different enemies which show the difficulty of the training it's all very detailed and it's really fun to engage in but one thing i will complain about with the training is that you do a lot of it there's no wonder it's so polished i feel like they messed up here they should have called this training simulator 5 instead of you know dragon ball apollo they should have called this training simulator 5 on the amount of training you have to do in this server is just it is mind-blowing but again i guess it makes sense it is a server it's supposed to last long blah 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 my hands hurt from the amount of training i've been doing is what i'm trying to say now in my opinion the reason why your training can take so much longer than it needs to is the fact that once you defeat the trainer three times you get spawned back to the spawn area if this didn't happen it would probably cut your training time in half honestly there's probably a reason why this happens but it's annoying either way now after doing a little bit of training my next mission was to do some dino training with piccolo now at this point the missions are pretty easy Easy, but you can think of this like a mousetrap and the easiness of the missions is like the cheese on the mousetrap and you're foolishly reaching in and thinking this is going to be a breeze. It won't. The missions are about to exponentially increase at a rate that is undeniably cataclysmic. So my next mission was to head over to the lookout and after being absolutely violated, it was time to do some shadow dummy training. There we go. All right. So it's sh shadow dummy training. Do I have to take these things out or? Because they are hard to see. Very hard to see, dude. What? Okay, all right. I'm technically fighting two invisible people here by myself. Am I too weak for this? Hold on, okay. I might be too weak for this, which is nuts. Okay, that's one. That's one. All right, no, it's okay. It's okay. But it is starting to look like I'm going to need to do some training to... Oh, that's a lot of TP. All right, I'll get my, my key attack at a later stage. I'm going to upgrade dexterity for now. Just so that it's the same as constitution. It's just because I can, you know, just increasing my health isn't enough. I need to be able to take more damage. And then let's upgrade strength by the same right. It's a very balanced build. 
But that's kind of what I'm going for. Let's go a bit more on strength. Let's just max it all out on strength now. Okay. My next fight was the Cybermen. Now, this was an easy challenge to say the least. I will say that I did run out of key and energy a couple of times. But other than that, I absolutely destroyed these green clowns. All right. I kind of need to regain my stamina. Okay. I know they can't fly. If they fly, I'm logging off. All right. Stamina's back. Who's next? Let's go one by one. Let me deal with one. Yeah, they don't do damage. It's just annoying that there's so many of them. Okay, guys, relax. This, this, you don't win this fight. My stamina's down again. Are you kidding me? Every time I regain stamina, I'm going to go in third person because it looks cool to me. And now my, my key's gone. All right, let's power back up. Look at the top left, dude. The information that I'm getting from the top left is... It's nuts. Were you the last one? Nope. You're the last one for sure. Easy. Is that everyone? Bruh. Stay away, dude. Like... There we go. That was the last one. I got my training points from Piccolo, but I decided to wait a little bit before I'd throw them into anything because there just wasn't that many of them. After that mission, I went back to Canton City to stash the money I made from that mission. And then my next mission was to fight Nappa, and I just know there was no way that I was going to win unless I actually did some training. So that was my next plan. Let's go constitution, you can never go wrong with constitution. Let's go constitution and dexterity for now, we'll upgrade strength at a later stage because my strength is pretty good. I honestly thought I trained enough for this fight but I was clearly very mistaken. Did I mention there was going to be a lot of training in this? Well there's going to be a lot of training in this. You know, I honestly wish the training stopped there, but no, I just kept training. I could just tell the skill gap between myself and the enemies was way too high at this point. And then just to take a break from training, I just explored the map. Now, I feel really stupid for this, but I fought Nappa and I forgot to hit record. So, my next fight is Vegeta, and you can believe me, I did defeat Nappa, because if I didn't defeat Nappa, I wouldn't be fighting Vegeta. So, yeah, rip Nappa fight. There he is. All right, Vegeta, relax. Okay, Vegeta is very strong. Regret is starting to flow through me. Come on, let's go. I'm actually doing decent damage, but holding my own isn't going to be enough. All right, healing is going to help a little bit, but I don't exactly have an advantage in this fight. Yeah, that didn't do much. I'm taking too much damage, okay. All right, I'm... Just, just not strong enough. Cap! If I just needed to train a little bit, if I was just not strong enough, I wouldn't have had to train for what felt like an eternity of my life, but I had to do what had to be done. After doing all that training, I took the training points and upgraded constitution, dexterity, and of course, strength. Okay, Vegeta. This man is getting bodied. What? Where do I find him again? There's no way I'm not strong enough to fight Vegeta at, at this point. Yeah, buddy. He's not doing too much damage at all. Vegeta, I know you're the Prince of Saiyans and whatever, but there's a new prince in town, my guy. Knocked out. Knocked out. Where are you? Dude, you move so much, it's ridiculous. Easy. Easy. The Prince of what? I say easy, but I should be glad this server didn't make me fight Nappa and Vegeta at the same time. I used all the training points from that mission to upgrade strength, and then I jumped straight to the next mission, which was uh, Great Ape Vegeta. I think I can... I think I can take him? I can't. No, I can, I can, I can. I low-key can. I low-key can. Dude, I'm about to beat Great Ape Vegeta. Not, not exactly like he's nothing. Uh oh, where's the hitbox? Not exactly like he's nothing, but I'm about to beat this man. Okay, I've taken too much damage. Yeah, he's knocked out. He's done. He's done. He's done. He's done. 
looks like all that training did pay off. Like, really well. Like, way more than I... Oh, shoot. My stamina's gone. There we go. After beating Vegeta, I used the training points from that fight to upgrade strength as much as I possibly could. And then Krillin suggested I do shadow dummy training, and you know what happened? I died. I lost to these stupid shadows. Now, of course, I had to spend more moments of my life training like a madman. Now, again, I need to do what has to be done, because let's not forget, in 100 days, I need to beat that other guy, the strongest guy in the server, so I need all this training. Just to drive home how much training I have been doing, that's me devouring the training point tokens I got from my last training session. So with my now 19,000 training points, I upgraded constitution, dexterity, and of course if I'm gonna box the strongest, I need strength. If I get destroyed by whoever's next in the mission thing, I, dude, I'm telling you now, I'm logging off, sleeping, and how do I even upgrade my skills? Oh, I think it says it's unlocked. They're all unlocked through the quest, so I just keep playing and then eventually I'll unlock Super Saiyan, I think is what it's saying. And then I finally beat Krillin's cursed training arena, and I use those training points to, of course, upgrade strength. My next mission is to train at a hundred times gravity on my way to Namek. And I honestly wish the base Dragon Block C game was like this. Like the detail of some of these builds are just really cool to look at. There it is. This so-called mirror image is, reminds me of the shadow dummy. Kind of missed the shadow dummy now. I wish there was um, a resource pack that made Dragon Block C, you know, the UI and stuff look like this. Because this is a... Really well made UI. Now that we've arrived on Namek, first things first, I need to defeat Kiwi. Or however you pronounce the guy's name. I'm gonna be on Kiwi release mode just because I can, but you do not pose a threat to me, my friend. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Maybe a slight threat. Okay, he's doing some damage to me. I'm good though, I'm good though. I beat Kiwi, but at the last second we traded blows, so I died. And my voice cracked. Oh yeah, and here's a quick reminder during my fight with uh, Dodoria. Key attacks were really just not doing much. I could upgrade them, and I was upgrading them, but it's just, they were just upgrading so slowly, I didn't really see the point. My fist just did way more damage. Okay, whoa, fly, 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 fly. Why am I not flying? My key is down, that's why. Guys, I ran out of key. That's why I'm gonna die here. I ran out of key. My key ran out. It's not my fault. My key ran out. This man is making a meal of me. Dude, you have to be... You... After finally winning that fight, I finally decided to upgrade my willpower. I also forgot to mention there's a Dragon Ball in each of these missions. You just have to go out and look for it. Anyway, my next fight was against Zarbon. Let's go. There is no outcome why I lose this fight. Just because your hair's green doesn't mean you're winning this. Dude, the way I throw people sometimes is just nuts. Right, maybe I should heal up. Now's a good time. Yep. Am I using my medium? Ugh. Oh, boy. I forgot. She transforms. Alright, I like that. I don't know why it's happening, but he kind of waits for me. I don't know why, but I, I'm i completely here for that. Might as well charge up again. Dude, wait until I transform, is what I'm trying to say. you think it's a bug, but nope. Alright, good, good time to heal up. There we go. Easy. Well, yeah, no, easy. Easy. Let's go for constitution again. After winning that fight, I got an awakening from Guru, which was just a bunch of training points. I don't know what I expected anyway. Let's get strength to 300, why not? After that, it was time to fight Raccoon and Galdo. Oh, you want to know how the fight ended? Tragically. Very clearly, I'm not prepared for this fight. I figured at this point, I might as well use my Dragon Balls, and I wished for a training points boost, which was like, not that much, but... It does make a difference in the long run, I guess. And then, after that, you guessed it. Training until I disappeared from existence. Only to lose again. Okay, so after calming down a little bit, I went over to King Kai's world to get Kaioken. Because I figured 
this has to be my key here. This has to be the way I win this. But I wasn't far enough in the story to get Kaioken. Check the technique tab. Oh, it says not unlocked. And as a wise man once said, train until you go insane. If you can't unlock Kaioken anyway. And although I couldn't get Kaioken, I did win the fight this time. Thank goodness. The next Ginyu clowns I had to defeat was Berta and Jace. And of course, I can't forget to put in the hours training because, you know, on the last day I have to fight, uh, you already know the deal. Let's get dexterity to match constitution. And the rest goes into strength. Strength is important too, I need to knock these guys out quickly. Now I somehow forgot who my next fight was. It was no joke. Oh, Freezer, okay. Lock on. Don't open up the- okay, alright. Panic is ensuing and I'm wasting uh, my first bottle of heal. This man is quick, dude. I did upgrade my strength, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Come on, come on, come on. Cause he's doing like a thousand damage to me, I'm doing like a hundred. Like this will be knocked out soon. Freezer? Okay. Let me just stay up to regain my stamina. So that was my last healable. Yeah, there's nothing left. I would shoot him with this, but like... Oh, this man is dodging them, first of all. Second of all, they're not doing that much damage. They, they do like one damage at a time. Okay, let's try. Kaioken would have been really useful, but I don't know what... What's up with this thing for not letting me have Kaioken yet? Down. I'm stronger than I give myself credit for. Great constitution again. And we always try to get dexterity to match that. And then of course I need to put in the hours training. Let's spend 10,000 on constitution. It's getting expensive, dude. Dexterity needs to match constitution. I'm gonna go a bit ham on strength this time. Actually, let's get them all matching. Let's get them all matching. Yeah. It's a very balanced build. And then it was time for my second fight with Frieza. Alright, Frieza. I'm gonna make this quick. Because I have places to be. Just kidding, I don't. I'm gonna heal up just a little bit. Key attack. Dude, he's healing while I'm doing that. That's how... Okay. I need to upgrade my key damage. He's smiling, dude. dude stop smiling. Just stop. Stop. Stop that. That's, that's creepy. Oh, I think I upgraded really nicely this time. He's not too much of a threat. And I only had to use one... Uh, what is this called? Vita drink. Only had to use one. That's nuts. My rewards, my good man. Oh, that'll do. I want to do more damage for the next fight. Like, way more damage. So let's just spam strength. Uh, we're gonna have to heal up. Hold on, can I upgrade my... Wait, Kaioken. Oh, there we go. So he did this now. So basically, I upgrade Kaioken by giving Kaioken crystals to King Kai. And then, it was time for my next fight with Freezer. Need to heal up. Why does it feel like I'm not doing any damage? I'm not doing any damage. Kaioken? Oh, Kaioken did help. Kaioken did help. I, ha I was only able to hold it for like three seconds. Yeah, it's done. It's done. It's done. Now, the problem is I can only hold Kaioken for like five seconds max. So I need to do some insane training to increase that time. 
I use most of the training points from that training session to upgrade my spirit, which should increase my key level, which will obviously help me hold Kaioken for longer. And of course, strength and dexterity, those pretty much go without saying. Okay, let's hope, let's hope, let's hope. I'm doing it for this man right here. Okay, here goes, here goes, here goes, here goes. Kaioken, lock on. Whoa, 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 I'm barely doing damage to this man. No, I am, I am, I am. I am. Alright, let's fly away just a little bit. Oh, fly! Why am I not in Kaioken? Are you telling me that Kaioken lasted like five seconds? Alright, Freezer, hold on. Just give me a second, alright? If he shoots a key blast at me, I swear I'm gonna. Alright, I'm gonna try Kaioken again. I don't know what happened. That did not last at all. This should destroy him. Okay, hold on, my key's running out. Alright, Kaioken is making a difference, it's just, it's like, dude, he's almost down though. Look how stupid he looks, look how, this guy looks so dumb. Dude, 42 seconds until I can use it again. Alright, let's go without Kaioken for now. So it's got it like a time limit, regardless of my key. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. okay, oh. Oh, he's down, he's down. But let's go strength for now. Okay, so my key's fine. My key's fine. It's holding up with Kaioken, it's good. And then, just like that, my final fight with Freezer. Okay, let's go. Kaioken's the only hope I have. I literally, I, I can't win this without Kaioken. Okay, heal up. That's it. Okay, fly away. Fly away. I'm- I'm dead. I need like an extra hour of training. No how useful sensu beans would be right now? How I miss my sensu beans. Yeah, Freezer, do your worst, whatever. I guess it wasn't my last fight with Freezer, because I only got the guy down to like half health. Where is my Super Saiyan form? Now I need you to understand how much pain I'm in. I trained for hours to destroy Freezer, and I mean hours, I'm not, that's not even a joke. And then I threw all my training points into Constitution, and I even upgraded my Kaioken, only to get bodied by Freezer. And then, out of pure boredom, I created my own version of the Spirit Bomb. And I already explained that key attacks don't do that much damage, so this was pretty much a waste of time. But it's still cool, I guess. Then of course I tested it on the toilet smelling doo doo licking freezer. And are you seeing this? This is the training freezer. This is the freezer that I train with. And it barely did any damage to him. So if anyone needed proof that key attacks are dookie, there's your proof. And now it's just me and freezer. No one's coming to save this doo doo licking. Let me just beat him, alright? Let me just knock this guy out. Alright, heal up, heal up. A little bit more, without Kaioken. He's doing insane damage to me, but it's fine. He's literally no threat. We win, we win. And I'll be surprised if we don't get Super Saiyan after this. We win. This is a dub. Defeated. I use the training points from that fight to upgrade my spirit so I can increase my key pool again. And then I upgraded constitution on top of that. Again, just so I can have enough key to actually hold Kaioken for a significant amount of time. Because now I'm fighting Frieza and his father, King Cold. And yeah, you guessed it, I need to train my life away again. <laughs> Dude, it's, actually, it's, a, I'm, it's not a joke, it's actually so much training. It's like, it's like mind-numbing. It's so much training. And of course, after that, the only outcome is that I absolutely destroy both of them. Okay, heal up, heal up, heal up. Oh boy. Oh, that was close. He's finished. Frieza? Bonk. I feel like constitution is a big one. Let's go constitution for now, we'll... Trained to upgrade strength as usual. You wanna know who I'm fighting next? Kakarot. 
Why is he fighting me? Why? I tried. I tried. Let's let's go train. So, uh, bad news. I forgot to hit record while I was fighting Goku, and yeah. And well, you know, who better to fight after Goku than Vegeta? Why are they fighting me though? Why? Here's Vegeta. I'm not losing this fight. I've trained way too much to lose this fight. I'm doing good damage though. Hmm. Yeah, my strength is really good. The fact that I only healed like, what, twice? I just need to regain my stamina. Yeah. Vegeta's knocked out. Easy. Let's get dexterity up. I think that's probably the main issue. Dude, I'm level 5000. And I don't have Super Saiyan. And now, we've officially entered the Android Saga. Okay, the damage this man does is unheard of. It is unheard of. Okay, stamina's down. Oh man, this, the, the, just the jump in power is so much. It's so different to the base game. It's, it's, it's disorienting. The jump in power might be insane, but I'm still way too strong for this guy. I used all my training points that I got from that fight on strength just because I felt like I wasn't upgrading strength as much as I wanted to at this point. And then, it was time to fight Android 17. Now, Android 17 on his own wasn't too bad to defeat, but it's the fact that after defeating him, Android 18 appears immediately afterwards. It's a good thing I've been training so much, because if it wasn't for that, I definitely would have died to Android 18 here, but I was able to absolutely demolish the two of them. I used all my training points from that fight on dexterity, and of course there's nothing else to do, so I did some training. And then my next fight was with Android 18 again, and let's just say it didn't go as planned. And then of course I trained my heart out, but it doesn't matter because I proceeded to die again. Is what I would say if I didn't win at the last second. Did you see? Dude, I'm, I'm, craziness. Well, it didn't count. Yeah, it didn't count. Game counted it as a loss. This is, it doesn't matter though, because I actually won this time. So, that's a good thing. And then I just distributed all my training points into all of my stats, really. And then look who I found downtown. It's Cell. Dude, I really don't like this guy. Can he just leave? And then I had the usual training session and put all my training points into strength, dexterity, and constitution. And then my next mission was to again fight Cell. I'm getting so sick of fighting this green cucumber alien. Thankfully, I did beat Cell that time and I used all the training points I got from that fight to upgrade strength. I just completely wanted to obliterate my strength stats. And then I died because I had to fight Cell again. And of course, you know how the story goes by now. I needed some intense training, and then thank goodness Cell was finally down for good. And then I used all the training points from that fight on dexterity. And then I did some training with Gohan in the hyperbolic time chamber. And then I used all of those training points on strength. And then I saw someone and I thought, that has to be him. The strongest guy on the server. I realized it was kind of strange that I didn't even have Super Saiyan unlocked at this point yet, so I thought let me try out the movie missions and see if maybe I might get Super Saiyan that way. And it turns out, all I had to do was do the movie missions and I would have had Super Saiyan. In fact, all I had to do was defeat Cooler and then speak to Gohan and I would have had Super Saiyan. You're telling me if I just did one of the movie storylines, I... You've unlocked Super Saiyan, you've unlocked Super Saiyan 2. Guys, 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 guys. Are you telling me if I just got strong enough to do a story mission... I would have unlocked... You know what? There's nothing I can change. What I can change... <laughs> Look at my head. <sighs> Super Saiyan 2. 
Super Saiyan 2. Look at my stats, dude. Look at my damage. Ah, that's insane. That's insane. That looks so much better than the base game, I'll say that much. I mean, the base game thing still looks dope. Look at my hair. Even the way I transform, my hair slowly turns yellow. Now, there was some good that came from this. The fact that I was so overpowered going into these movie missions, I pretty much one-shot every single fight. Like it was basically nothing. And I still got training points from every single fight, so I ended up with half a million training points. And I used them all to upgrade strength, constitution, and dexterity. Now, of course, going into the cell games with that kind of power, I was going to be unstoppable. <laughs> Sorry, I meant unstoppable to everyone except cell. How many times has Cell sent me back to the training room? Anyway, after a brief training session, I was able to destroy Cell. And then, I used the training points from that fight to upgrade strength and spirit. And then, it was time to defeat Cell's mini nightmares. And I went Super Saiyan 2 just in case, because I do not want to lose to small versions of Cell. Now they were a little bit tough to beat just because there were so many of them, but I ended up getting the victory. And then, I used the training points to upgrade strength and dexterity. And then it hit me. I basically had no time left, my 32 hours was almost up, so I spent the entirety of the last few moments that I had training to the point where I had 1.5 million training points. And I tried to distribute them equally to the most important stats, which is strength, dexterity, and constitution. At this point, if I lose, it's just fate. And then all that was left to do pretty much was to go to the armor shop and get myself some decent armor for the amount of armor tokens that I had. Now I know, I know, I look so clean standing at the top of this blimp. I look like an absolute beast, but I don't think looking like a beast is gonna help me this time. Now before I engage in any kind of combat with any kind of overpowered individual, I need to just calm down and spend some time in the arena where the fight is gonna take place because something tells me this is going to be very difficult. Is that- that's him. Uh oh. Okay. Let's power up. I don't, I don't remember my lock on button. He's blocking. Okay, oh shoot. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, 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 I refuse to lose. Let's, let's try that again. Who else is here? Who's this? Oh, shoot. Okay, other people are here. Oh. Oh. Guys, I, I'm not... I'm powering up. I'm powering up. Uh, why am I the one getting... Okay, I'm, I, I need to take this seriously. Okay. They actually have me laying on my back. I'm going back. I need to redeem myself. I'm on the- Get up! <laughs> Guys. Uh, I realized something today. Something I think is vital. Something that I think is uh, very important to my, to my story, to my journey in life. If you challenge someone with a skull emoji at the end and they reply, they reply with a clown emoji, you leave. You leave. I wasn't just a clown today. They're gonna be calling me curbside man from now on. Because I saw so much stone today. I'm becoming stoned. I'm becoming the ground. Is how many times I got knocked out today. Now listen, if you enjoyed this this video, it, it, 
any second you felt like you enjoyed this video i invite you to hit the subscribe button and listen if you stick around you will have an amazing time i do my best to ensure that i'm disappearing why am i disappearing my connection my connection is so bad how did someone like me challenge someone like listen before i rage out of control before i lose what's left of my mind i'll see you in the next video until then Atashi wa koko